Good Monday morning to you. Um, it's going to be a full week this week. I had a good four day last week, so I got a little spoiled because I had a little fun. And uh, anyway, so I just know that God's got a plan for this week too. So, um, But I did fall short a little bit this weekend. I got caught up in some negativity with somebody else and I reacted poorly. Oh, Lord have mercy on our souls, right? But anyway, so if you notice, I got my own glasses back, which have no frames. And I had cataracts back in February, and it's been till now to me uh, finally get my old glasses back. And because um, you have to, you have the surgery, and then you have to wait a month before that heals, and then you go get a new prescription, and then you have to wait a month, another month for your glasses to get, you know, get new glasses. And I went to Pearl Vision, and they took a very long time. And um, so then I went to Walmart to get cheap glasses. Cheap glasses means two hundred dollars at Walmart, you know. By the time you get all the prescription and stuff. Anyway, so now, praise God, I'm finally able to see, you know. So, um, here I am in my uh, Jesus Calling book. And, you know, my friend Patty pointed out that uh, the reason this is so good is because it's uh, it's what the Lord was speaking to Sarah Young. And that's what we're here for. We come up to the upper room or wherever you are, and you come to hear from God. You know, we don't come up to beg him. You know, we come up to pray and all that, you know, but we don't come up to beg him for this and that and the other. We come up and say, Lord, you know, speak to me. You know, I want to hear you. I want to see your voice. I want to be with you. And, um, you know, we sang a song. They they sing it over and over again, that New Life songs. And one was, um, I want to be with you and I want to see you. And so <clears throat> that's where I'm at. That's where we all are, right? Anyway, so uh, it, it went immediately from my, in my Sarah Young, and it referenced uh, it referenced Isaiah 60. So I went to Isaiah 60 in my Joyce Meyer Bible. It says, Arrive, shine with the glory and brilliance of the Lord, for your light has come, and the glory and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. For in fact, darkness will cover the earth, and deep darkness will cover the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and... His glory and brilliance will be seen on you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Well, I could get real conceited about that. <laughs> Number one, it's about Jerusalem and the Bible. But you know how when you read the Bible, you really, you to read it as God is speaking to you. That's what Sarah Young did too. That's why it's so cool. It's like when you read the Bible, you read it like, because it's alive. You know, the beginning was the word and the word became God. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And so it, it's an alive book, you know, it's a live word of God. And he's talking to you. It's not just a, a textbook, you know. So anyway, but I go back to my Sarah Young and it says, my light into you. I choose to pour my light into you so that you can be a beacon to others. There is no room for pride in this position. You know, the world is celebrating Pride Month this week, this month. And um, where is the pride, you know? The pride is in them and their weirdness and all that. I'm not here to judge, but I'm just saying, there. you know, um, what does God say? There's no room for pride. Your part is to reflect my glory, for I am the Lord. So if we are showing ourselves as the world is going to be, it has all their own pride about who they are and what they do and even in their goofiness and whatever, you know. But I want to be, you know, when I start these videos, I say, Lord, let them see you and not me, you know. And when I speak, I say, Lord, just, you know, let them hear your voice and not mine, you know, because I, I don't know about you, but I got sick of my own self, you know. You know, I can get negative, I, you know, I can have all, but I want them to hear, I want y'all, you know, to hear what Jesus says for you. That's what I'm here for, you know. Then, and also, you know, he has me read, uh, listen and watch these videos because they're for me too, you know. So I'm going to end with this one funny thing is that, um, not really funny, funny, but, and in uh, Pentecost, was Passover, and, um, you know, when God was going to destroy all the Egyptians and stuff, and he said to, for, to the Hebrews to put the blood over your doorpost, and when the angel of death comes, you know, we will uh, we'll pass over. He will pass over you. And it doesn't say this in the Bible, but I'm wondering if there's any of them that were hanging with the Egyptians. 
You know, there's people out there that claim to be Christians, but they're hanging with the Egyptians, you know. If you don't, um, stay tuned to the Lord. You know, I'm talking about going to church, listen to pastors, listen to the prophets, listen to preachers and evangelists. There's so much of God out there. There's so much of God out there that um, for you, you know, that uh, to help you and to teach you more about who you are and what are you doing in this life and who God is and how much he loves you. There's, there's so much available, you know, and yet there's so many that are just hanging out with the Egyptians. You know, they're going to bars or I don't know, you know, they're just doing stuff that is not pleasing to God. And so I'm not perfect. I sure, you know, I, I can, I can walk sometimes on <laughs> not so holy ground, you know, so I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying what I am saying is, what does it say here? For in fact, darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness will cover the peoples. There's, there's going to be a time, you know, when God's going to show up, you know, and bad things are going to happen. And I don't want to be hanging with the Egyptians, you know. I want to, and also, I want to always know what's going on because I want to hear about God all the time, all the time. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to be, you know, over in the corner, you know, not paying attention. And then, uh, you know, uh, the angel of death going to come, you know. And so maybe not to kill you, but to have destroy different parts of your life and different things. And so it's not going to be good, you know, but God is life. You know, Jesus is life. Holy Spirit is available to you, to all of us, you know. And But we can, what the Bible says, quench the Holy Spirit. And what does that mean? That that pretty much means that we're not paying attention. You know, we're not in belief. We're in disbelief. We're, we're too much into ourselves. We're too much into pride of ourselves, too. You know, we get inward. And, um... So pray for the people that you know that are in the world. You know, I know plenty of them. I'm sure you do too, you know. Pray for each other. Pray for the girls at the kitchen table. You know, we all are, you know, struggling and have challenges in one way or the other, you know. Pray for your children, you know, that because I know I didn't get raised in the church. I didn't. And my parents used to always say, <clears throat> we're not going to make you go to church because we knew people, we knew parents that made their kids go to church and all the ki kids did was rebel. But what they didn't realize is that, and I'm not dissing my parents, they were great parents. But what they didn't realize is that um, when I grow older, I found out that those children that were forced to go to church, they still had the word of God in their soul. So when they came back and the Bible said, teach a child in the way they should, they will come back, you know. So when they did come back, they came back with that knowledge and that remembrance of what they learned as a child. I had to start from scratch, you know, I got saved when I was 30 something and, you know, I had, I, I, I didn't know anything, you know, I didn't know anything about the Bible. I had knew nothing, you know, and I had to start, which is okay. Cause I started out, the Lord <laughs> had me teach kindergartners. You know, I learned the Bible through the eyes of a kindergartner cause that's how I had to teach. And so I had to read the Bible and study the Bible and study the scriptures, you know, as a, as a child. And it was it was really awesome, you know, because it was like I was a little kid learning about God. And so I appreciate that. So I've been learning and learning all these years. And, you know, so it's, it's been a it's been a real blessing for me. So you guys have a good week and I, I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> and I love you guys. And Jesus loves you so much more. See you later. Bye.